Hi, my name is Brenda. I'm the optometrist here at iWorks London. And today I wanted to talk to you about using an Amsler grid. So you may have went to your opticians and you may have been given a grid like this. Um, and you've been advised to monitor your vision using this chart. Um, the reason that an optometrist would give you this chart um, is so that you can monitor for the first signs of macular degeneration. And the first signs of macular degeneration is distortion in your vision. So macular degeneration generally is wearing, wear and tear at the back of the eye, the area called the macula, which is right back um, on the retina. So this is, this is your eye, the light comes in here, and the light gets focused on a very sensitive part of the eye called the macula. Um, this part of the eye is really important for visual detail, so recognising faces, reading, this is all you do on your central vision. If the light falls away from this, this is your peripheral vision, so actually it's not imp as important for detail. Um, someone who does have macular degeneration will notice a lot of distortion in their central vision and often find it quite difficult to do, do detailed work. The first signs of macular de degeneration is distortion in the vision and often you can n go around your everyday life and have distortion in one eye and not notice that it's affecting your vision. So you need to have quite a, a kind of um, structured way of, of monitoring for distortion and this Amsler grid is a really simple way of doing that. What I'd first of all recommend is that when you're given an answer grid, not to put it in a drawer because you'll just forget about it, I would put it on maybe a fridge at home or a notice board or even on the inside of the wardrobe so it's not obtrusive, it's not there all the time but you'll notice it from time to time when you open, open the wardrobe. Um, you don't have to do this chart every day, you can do it once or twice a week or whenever you notice it but as long as it's part of a, a routine or part of, you're monitoring your vision this way. Um, so, what you do with the Amsler ch chart is, first of all, if you wear glasses for reading, to put those on. It's recommended not to wear varifocals because varifocals can naturally give you just some distortion in your vision. So, if you have just single vision reading glasses, that's the best thing to wear when you're using this chart. Um, the second thing that you do with the chart is you hold it um, at about 35 centimetres, so your normal kind of reading distance. Um, then with the chart, when you're holding it at 35 centimetres, you cover one eye. This is like really important. If you don't cover one eye, the other eye will compensate um, and you might not notice any distortion. So really important, cover one eye. Just always remember that, cover one eye. Okay. The next thing that's very important is that you're looking at the central dot in the, the Amsler chart. Okay. If you look around, then the distortion will move as you look around. So your vision has to be steady and looking at one spot. So if you look at the centre, the centre dot, and just be aware of the rest of the square, then you will know, you'll pick up the distortion. So the idea is that you're looking at the centre, the dot in the centre of the, of the chart, you're just aware of the rest of the square, and you're just observing if you see any of these lines start to wiggle, or any of those patches in the vision, um, then, then that's, that's you picking up distortion in your vision. Um, some people already will have some distortion in their vision, so the optometrist may have said, oh, well, there's a little patch here that's a bit distorted. We know about that. We, we know it's completely normal, but we want you to monitor for anything new. So if you do have some patches in, in the answer chart already, you can maybe make a note of it with a pencil. Um, and then you want, you, you'll you be able to monitor if anything new comes up. Okay, so if you do notice distortion on the Amsler grid, it's very important that you let your optometrist know. With macular degeneration, particularly the wet type of macular degeneration, there is an, a window of opportunity to treat the macular degeneration. If you don't get treatment within that window, then it could lead to permanent visual damage. So it's very important that you do let your optometrist know as soon as you see any distortion in your vision. Okay, so that's an Amsler chart, and that's how to use an Amsler chart.